I recently made a video about how I installed an extra Walbro 525 fuel pump into the fuel tank of my E36 Turbo LS swap using the Rally Road bracket. But I actually never talked to you guys about how I programmed it into my Holley Terminator X. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. If you're looking for the video on how I ran it, installed it, and ran the wires, check that out in my playlist for my E36 Turbo LS swap. But in the meantime, let's talk about how we program this into the Holley. And it is really simple and straightforward. All right, so now that we have the whole thing wired in, let's go into our Holley Terminator X and show you guys exactly how we can set this thing up to kick on at four PSI. All right, so I'm just gonna open my global file. I already have it saved under here, 37 duty cycle for dual pump setup already in. All right, once you're set up in here, you go to system parameters and you want to go to basic input outputs and then you, you obviously this is where you would have your fans, AC, AC shutdown, and they have fuel pumps. You wanna click secondary and you can set different parameters. I have manifold pressure 128 kPa, which is about four PSI. Maybe I should lower this down to like 2,500 RPM. Okay. And 70% throttle position, throttle position sensor to kick that on. So that's all you get to do. System, basic IO, fuel pumps is already here under Holly Terminator X, and you can kick on your parameters. 128 kPa, I figured it to be around four PSI. Then you can go to your pin map, and it should already be showing up. If I go to uh, here. This episode is brought to you by these awesome wheel dollies. If you have a car, whether it's running or not, and you have limited garage space in your garage, Definitely get these wheel dollies. You can push it up against the wall. You can move the car around anywhere, any which way you want. This is a 2,900 pound Mustang that I am moving around the garage with relative ease. And uh, I'll put a link to this in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. And buying it through those links helps the channel a lot. We really appreciate it. The secondary fuel pump would probably be, was up here and then I would just drag it down into this one. And I still have two other, I still actually have one other input that I can use because I have electric fan secondary fuel pump and wastegate uh, for boost control. So uh, this is where I assigned it B10. And then we find that B10 on our pinout from our four pinouts that we have. And that's how you would wire it in. It's just a ground trigger for the fuel pump that we just wired in. And that's how you do it in the Terminator. After driving the car a little bit more, I actually even fine tuned it to kick on at one PSI. I found that the sooner I could have the pump kick on, the better it can handle the demand. And if I'm just driving around, it's off. If you're looking for more information on turbo LS swap stuff, I have an entire build series on my turbo LS swapped E36. But even if you're not doing an E36 or a BMW, there's a lot of great information in that build series about LS swaps in general that could really work for a project that you're working on. Thank you guys very much, and I'll catch you in the next one.